All right, guys. So in the last video, we left off and making a schema for our model, like for our host model. Right now, we're going to be connecting to a database through the app. So how do we do that? Let's create a config file, which would have our apps, uh, I mean, our databases um, connection URL in it, because we don't want to pollute the app.js file as it's already so much polluted. <laughs> I mean, um, we should try to move most of the things in a config file which would have all the configurations and everything uh, in an object format and we could later on just import it and then use it where, whenever required in the app.js. App so let's create a config folder, new folder, config, and inside I'm just going to create an index.js file. You could also make this into a config.js file from the beginning, no need to, not even creating a folder, but I like following this convention. All right, so you have a config object which would host your URLs. So you have the normal DB URL. You have mongodb slash localhost one slash what's our database name? Let's open RoboMongodb's um, database name was main app DB, and it doesn't have any connections yet because we didn't start working with the database yet. So mean app db right and for later we would also need a test db when we are going to be testing our uh, endpoints so for that i'm just gonna write it down from before so that i could just import it later on slash mean app db test all right so this is our config file and i'm just gonna have to export it exports because as I've said, this file's contents aren't accessible unless and until you export export everything to the outside world. <laughs> All right, so in our app.js, we need to connect to our database, right? At the beginning of the, at the starting of the app, we definitely have to connect to our database. So for that, we have to first require the mongoose module because we're going to be connecting to our database via mongoose, and then you have to uh, also import the config file, which is our slash config folder. You don't need to write slash index.js. Slash config folder is basically pointing to the index.js file inside that folder. All right, so we have that now. Let's just create our function. Uh, space is too polluted. All right, so function initialize models. Okay, so in that function, we're just going to basically connect to our mongoose database and we have the config.db, which is the db URL, not the test db. And the, if the environment was a development test environment, we're going to connect to our test db, but since this is a, uh, the development environment, we're going to connect to our development db. If, it, if we are uh, hosting this app in production, then we would also have to connect, then we would just have to connect to our production. So you have to specify the node environment development over here. So we connected and then to know that we connected successfully, I'm just going to basically write a mongoose.connection.on function, which would basically tell me if my database has connected successfully or if it has any sort of error. So function, error, and then just log the error. If you have an error, just log it. MongoDB failed to connect and then log it. All right, now we have to call the function or else it's basically useless. So, so that's how we call the function, initialize models. So we're done with this part. We're done with connection, connecting to the database part. Now database, everything related to the database is done. Now to see the database in action, we have to first create endpoints and that's not easy. That's not going to be covered so easily in one video. So for the endpoints part, I'm just going to be covering it in the next video in our, uh, how to create a simple post. That will be what our endpoint, that will be what our endpoints function will do. So in the next video, stay tuned as we will cover the fun part i would say because right now all we've been doing is hooking things up hooking the database hooking the folders file structure and, and uh, installing some dependencies some basic dependencies in the next video we'll be creating endpoints and actually see, see our app in action so stay tuned and give a thumbs up if you like this video and good luck